What happens when you stop eating sugar? Your body doesn't just lose weight. It begins a full internal reset. In the first 24 hours, your blood sugar drops and your body starts burning stored glycogen. Cravings kick in because your brain has been trained to expect sugar as a fast energy source. After three days, your taste buds begin to reset. Processed foods taste shockingly sweet and natural foods like fruit start tasting better. Your dopamine levels begin to balance, which is why quitting sugar feels like breaking an addiction. After one week, your energy levels become steadier. No more sugar crashes, brain fog, or afternoon burnout. Your liver begins clearing out stored fat created by excess sugar. At two weeks, inflammation in the body drops. Bloating, puffy skin, and joint pain start to fade. Many people notice clearer skin because insulin spikes are no longer triggering breakouts. At one month, hunger and fullness signals reset. You feel satisfied sooner because your body isn't fighting constant insulin spikes. Belly fat starts shrinking as your body finally burns stored fat instead of sugar. At two to three months, major health risks go down. Your chances of developing type 2 diabetes, fatty liver, and heart disease drop. Your focus, memory, and mood improve because your brain isn't being overstimulated and drained by sugar highs and crashes. Stopping sugar doesn't just change your diet. It changes your hormones, your metabolism, your skin, your brain, and even how long you may live. So the real question isn't, what happens if I stop eating sugar? It's what is sugar doing to me every day I keep eating it? If you want a part two on how to quit sugar without cravings, like, share, and subscribe for more science-based videos.